going to ask you about the quad. Your book refers to two quads, the quad, which is, of course, America, uh, Japan, Australia and India and quad two, uh, as it's been uh, dubbed, which is, of course, this very intriguing uh, uh, sort of West Asia tr uh, troika, uh, as it were. And I'll, I'll let you speak about both. But let's first talk about the main quad, which is which came together. There is to stop... no, now no quad at all. What do you, what do you mean there's no clear. quad? What do you when mean there's no quad? Entered quad? When we what? entered quad, we were looking at it as a security platform. A platform, which is why we crossed the Malacca Strait and went to South China Sea, believing we were delusional here. We were we believed that Russia, that China, that the United States would now be our security partner and would robustly support us vis-a-vis -vis China. Today we've completed two years of the Ladakh standoff. Where are the Americans? What has Quad done for us? What did the Americans do during this period? In the month of August last year, they signed the they then put into place the AUKUS. Australia, oh. United States, and UK. That's the security alliance. They also have separate arrangements with the, with the Japanese security arrangement, not with India of the same caliber and the same level. What did the summit finally agree about Quad 1? Vaccine mm -hmm. cooperation, technology cooperation, and climate change cooperation. Is this what Quad was supposed to be? We've got many more platforms for this, don't we? Now, Quad mm -hmm. 2. Quad 2 was, to my mind, a farce. And it would have been a tragedy if it was not a comedy. Quad 2. Our minister goes on a bilateral visit to Israel. He's sitting comfortably there talking to his interlocutor. The, the foreign ministers of UAE, Israel and the United States have had a separate meeting earlier in Washington a week earlier. While he's sitting there in Tel Aviv, he gets the he is told, let's have a, a quad, uh, you know, a, we, we could then have a quadrilateral meeting, a chat online, and let's call it quad. They call it quad. Quad hmm. is a, this kind of throwing of words is nonsensical. You should take all engagements seriously. Only then will you be taken seriously. Now, you don't just create a quad on the spur of the moment and pretend that it means anything. What is this quad supposed to do? We already have very substantial ties with the UAE and with Israel and with the United States. That's it. If you want to have certain shared projects together, nothing stops you. You don't need to call it Quad. You can do any project and, you want. That's going and, to be you're, done. And, 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 and you're arguing that the Quad 1, which is the, the, the Americans, Australia, Japan and India, is now a non-starter. It's, it's, it's now gone. It's now gone. If there is to be a serious engagement, which needs to be thought through, it is with Australia and Japan, right? Neither of them is a serious player in the Indian Ocean. What is India's crucial space, which is very important for India? The Western Indian Ocean, particularly the Arabian Sea. You don't see Japan and Australia roaming around there. It reaffirms to me that India is the best guardian of its own interest. Build up relationships with the region. Build up relationships with, as far as Iran is concerned. We've ignored Iran consistently 